Yo, what's up? What up? Hi, good morning. I have coffee. I have tea. Buenos dias. All right. Um, welcome to the live stream, everybody. Um, before we get started, just a couple of uh, things I want to mention to you guys. There are 70 concurrent viewers right now and only 32 likes. Please try to fix that if you can. Just click the like button down there. It helps more than you understand because statistics and algorithms and YouTube and the monster that is the internet needs your likes. I need your likes. Mmm. Oh. Also, second thing. I went to a bike shop yesterday, and I have a problem. I have an addiction to bicycles. I rode my bike to work today. I ride my bike anytime that the sun is shining, and it is bad. So the Trek Rail 9 is a ridiculous bike, by the way. It's an e-mountain bike with a Bosch motor. So it like imagine you pedaling and then being four times stronger. That's what it's like. And uphill climbs, oh, they're a thing of the past, people. I mean, this this is what I call my uh, my kung fu tea because I put black tea in it as well as green tea. So it's like a kung fu street fight in between two teas. See, that's how I clean. Don't judge me. All right, all right, all right. Wow, 100 people already. I remember when we were doing live streams and I wouldn't even get close to that. So thank you guys. I appreciate every single one of you that shows up to these live streams. I know they're super early for some or super late for others. So genuinely, genuinely, genuinely thank you. Um, I want to... Before we get into the whole like trading and everything, because I want to get this right today, because today is going to be my first day trading my funded account. Um, you know, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys good ideas of where the market's going to move. But I want to go over a few things that literally blow my my brain hole. I can't comprehend what's going on. I started this channel less than three months ago. In five days, it'll be or no in nine days, it'll be three months, which crazy, by the way. Um, in the last 28 days, in the last 28 days, 34,000 hours of video watch time on this channel. There are 387,000 views in the last 28 days, and the subscriber change is up 16.6 thousand in a month. For a new channel in 2021 is completely unheard of. And I am incredibly grateful for all of you. Like that number doesn't exist without you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Wow. Um, I should probably check to see if you guys can hear me and see me. So if you guys can hear me and see me, please <laughs> let me know in the chat. <coughs> Microphone is on, so we should be good to go. Yeah, I'm going to be looking. I'm going to do my markups on Bitcoin, Ethereum, US 30, German 30, Australian dollar, US dollar, and gold. If you want any other symbols for me to look at, let's wait to the end and I'll do all my markups and then I'll do markups for you guys. Holy shit, dude. This is insane. How how am I even supposed to keep up with this? I need assistance. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, where are you guys from? We got Czech Republic. We got uh, Philippines. Where else? Where else are you guys from? Nigeria. <laughs> Wakanda forever! 
Oh, great. Fritz, that's awesome that you've been here since day one. Yeah, man, it's literally like I... I'm getting one subscriber per minute, if not more. And when I do like future projections and math and calculator, that means that in less than two months, I should have 100,000 subscribers on this channel, which means I get a silver YouTube play button, which has been my personal goal for, geez, since 2015. 2016, it's been a long time. I've been making YouTube videos for a long time. Wow, Korea, India, Egypt, Russia, Malaysia, Germany, Mexico, Colorado. Yes, John Basso. Florida. Wow, you guys are from... I got a, I got a global audience. This is insane. All right, so... Um, yeah, again, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, if you guys have, if, if the chat gets out of control, uh, there's a super chat button. So you guys can, you know, pay to, you guys can just donate for me to get my new Trek Rail 9 or my Canyon Neuron On or a YT Demo. I don't know. I'm still deciding. I have about eight bikes that I'm looking at. All right, let's make my face a little bit smaller. Da, 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 da. Boom. Smaller face. And make it even tinier. <clears throat> cool. Awesome. I'm just going to live down here in the corner of the screen. So, um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, man, every, okay, question number one on all of my YouTube videos and in the chat, in the group, on the Discord, if you're not in the Discord group, definitely go check out the Discord group because there's, what, 3,500 members in there, a uh, lot of great traders, a lot of beginners, we have beginners rooms for open discussion on there for you guys to learn more as well as advanced trading rooms looking at market manipulation, what banks are looking to do and try to go with the trend with that. Um, yeah, check out the Discord group linked down below. It's free. Everything on this channel is always going to be free. So if you guys are wondering, I'm not pitching anything. It's just free. Um, the biggest question I get <clears throat> on all of my videos every single day, there's thousands of them, does this work with crypto? Yes. But every one of the strategies that i discuss on this channel work with everything they work with us 30 they work with gold they work with everything but with gold and with indices and with cryptocurrencies <clears throat> there tend to be spikes so you might be in a perfect uptrend but there might be a spike down to catch some more liquidity before it shoots up so either you need to be more careful or you need to have a bigger stop loss. And with that comes a decrease in lot size. So I know a lot of you want to get into crypto and you know have a tight stop loss like I have on Australian dollar, US dollar, but it's not going to work. You're going to get stopped out and then it's going to go in your direction and you're going to be left scratching your head. Why did it do that? So bigger stop loss, like much bigger stop loss with crypto. That's what I mean by be careful with crypto. The strategy works. There's just spikes. There's those long wicks that just <laughs> smack people. All right? Cool. Um, dude, Philippines, but currently working in Dubai. How's the weather out there? I just, I, I recently got invited to Dubai for a job and I denied it because it was with the old company that I was working for. Yeah, you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so we're looking at Bitcoin on the one hour chart. Um, you all know what happened with this huge, huge, huge dip. Um, we came down, we got this beautiful little double bottom thing. And here's what's going to happen with crypto. 
And you guys might think it's stupid or you might think my analysis is wrong, but I've been watching crypto for a long, long, long time. Ready? Crypto go up, crypto drop, and everyone's like, buy the dip. There's usually a double or triple bottom, okay? So it'll get down there, and that's your first indication of where your zone is. Then it goes up, and everyone's like, oh, I bought the dip, and then it crashes down, and, and those people sold and lose money because they're not patient. And then they try to buy again, and then it goes up again, and it, you might get a triple bottom. It doesn't shoot back up to its previous price immediately. That would be absurd, and it's difficult for you know the market manipulators to make money that way. So what it's going to do is it's going to go up and then fall down and then go up, and then people are going to uh, write articles about how crappy it is, and it's going to sell off. And literally within 12 hours, that price is going to spike up $500, and it's just going to do this weird it it's almost unrecognizable that it's going up because there's always so much up and down and you won't even see it and then it's like you can walk eight miles by taking little baby steps and then you're eight miles further but you don't see that change so you don't recognize that it's still going up and this is what's making a lot of people lose money is because they're not patient and they're listening to all the the shitty news articles and everything. And so it, it's going up, trust me. It's just going up so s shortly and small that it's hard to recognize because we're not getting these huge bull runs anymore. And before you know it, it's going to be back up to the previous price and you had missed out on your opportunity to buy the dip. So that's just how crypto works. Like there's this market manipulation to keep people from making money in order for somebody to make money in the market, somebody else has to lose. That's just how it is. And I just don't want you guys to be on the part that loses. We're not on the losing team here. NO! Dude, them super chats, man. They make me so happy to see. I don't, like, because I, I watch live streams with, like, gamers and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, he got a super chat! Uh, I'm inviting Mr. Beast to the channel. I'd like a $10,000 tip, please. Yeah, the Peefy is going to come after my uh, Kung Fu tea. So, um, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, I'm going to do a quick, and I'm going to try to do this quickly because all the people on here that have been here for a while know how I set up my chart. So I'm going to set this up really quickly. I want you to set up some indicators. You're going to get uh, smooth moving averages. That's what I like. Three smooth moving averages. It's one indicator. We're going to change the settings in just a little bit. Um, you're going to get the RSI on here, Relative Strength Index, and you're going to get uh, two more that I discuss in my strategies, but they don't all have to be used at the same time. You will be fine with just these two. I also like to do engulfing candles. Um, engulfing? Engulfing candle indicator. It just shows you engulfing candles. It it makes my brain have to think less, so that's nice. Um, and then we can put up, you don't have, literally don't have to do all of these guys. Just these right here is completely fine, but I'm also going to include the stochastic RSI as well as the LMI. Um, LMI is a paid indicator, so if you don't want to pay for an indicator, you don't have to use it. Seriously, it's not important. You can do everything that I'm showing you with just these three right here. Um, stochastic RSI, and I'm going to leave out the LMI for now. Um, cool. So three smooth moving averages should be 21, 50, and 200. You guys know my color scheme, white, full color, second thickness, green, Full color, second thickness, and red. Full color, second thickness. Okay. <clears throat> RSI, you're going to change the upper band and lower band to 50. We just want one solid line right in the middle of it. We're not looking for overbought and oversold because we know that those areas are overbought and oversold. We're going to change it to yellow. Full color, second thickness. 
good to go. And the stochastic RSI settings are going to stay the same um, unless you're going to a lower time frame, which then you should just change this stochastic length from 14 to 8. Ocho. Okay, cool. So looking, I'm going to hide all of these because we have to mark up our chart first, right? We have to show our support and resistance levels. Um, boom. So on a one hour chart, all you got to do is draw, where's my toolbar? Oh my God, that's going to make my life complicated. Toolbar favorites, favorites. There we go. Oh, okay. So we want support and resistance levels. So you just go to the top, draw a line and draw a line where you see big fat dips and areas of consolidation because these are your support and resistance levels. Uh, let's go one more right here. Cool. Cool. So these are your levels on uh, Bitcoin. We kind of got one right here in the middle, but it's not actually that is kind of important because we used it as support right here and resistance right here and then a rejection to the downside. So these are the levels that you guys are going to want to trade through. These are going to be your take profit levels or your swing trading levels. I'm talking about, you know, shit like this. Like this is going to be, you know, your stop loss and that's going to be your take profit. This type of thing is what I'm looking for. And then as the price goes, you know, up through here and then retests this and starts going up, your position at that point is going to be, you know, here. You're going to see that rejection and you're going to your take profit's going to be this next level. I don't want you guys to shoot for the moon. I want you guys to trade what's actually happening with the price right now, not what it's going to be in two weeks from now. I like short-term trades, and you guys know that. Um, holy, 13, 300 and, yeah, 300 viewers. That's crazy. I'll be taking questions at the end, but I'll also try to keep up with the chat. So um, I, that's what you should be doing with Bitcoin, essentially. So I'm going to delete that, delete that, and let's see with our indicators what it is doing on a one hour time frame. So if you guys remember my video about scalping uh, in between moving averages, you know, we were in the downtrend, all the moving averages are lined up, clear and concise downtrend, rejecting off the 21, maintaining down. And then we broke through and tested the 50 and then came down again. And now we broke through the 21, broke through the 50. You, these, like normally, this is why I say beware, be like cautious with crypto. Because if this was US 30, it would have tested this moving average and stayed there. But it's crypto. And so it spiked down below it, causing people to think, oh, it's going to dump again. Let's sell. And then it goes up. <clears throat> so... It used support off of these moving averages, and now it is starting to come up. Moving averages are touching right now, so Bitcoin will go up. This is what I would do right now, right this second. If I was getting in on a position with Bitcoin, I would wait for an engulfing candle right here, a nice big green one, put in a long position, target the 200 moving average, and keep my stop loss below that low right there, like a nice safe distance. So we're looking at a 1 to 1.7 risk to reward, but that's the direction. And once it starts coming up and you have like you've already gone through the down move, you know, say it goes up like this and then spikes a little bit and then starts going up. Once it breaks this, move that stop loss. Move that stop loss either to break even or a little bit in profit and then you're in a risk-free trade so that's that's bitcoin in the next eight hours nine hours ten hours eleven hours 
that's that's my projections for Bitcoin. Um, unless, unless, and keep this in mind, this is a big unless, unless Moon Boy, um, Mr. Elon Musk's, Elon Musk's, <laughs> Elon Musk makes a tweet saying that he wipes his behind with Bitcoin, then just get, don't trade it or short it or whatever. <clears throat> um, Ethereum. Ethereum is already doing that move that I just said that Bitcoin was going to do. So I feel a lot more confident about that Bitcoin prediction. Um, I've been in a long position with Ethereum since uh, 1900. Um, yeah, I will prove it to you guys. Hold on. Got my handy dandy iPhone here. I will prove it to you guys that I've been in a tiny little Ethereum position since 1900. If you guys can see this, hopefully. Still rolling. I'm just going to hold that until it reaches its all-time high. And yeah, that's going to be my take profit. So hopefully you guys saw that. If not, I'm sorry. Autofocus. I can't control it. It's auto. Woo! Yeah, so... With Ethereum, you're going to do the same thing that you did with uh, with Bitcoin. You know, you mark up your levels. You got your all-time high. Um, you got your low. And all the uh, mess in between. So, like, these are your levels. So, you're right now, you're targeting this. If we break above that, we're looking for a retest. Imagine this 200 moving average does something like that eventually right so you're looking for the price to go up above it and retest it you know a few times or whatever and then start you know using other moving averages as support this is this is what ethereum is going to do a hundred percent not even not even worried about it it's just a, a a question of when your entry is and when you're looking at entries you want a few things. You want engulfing candles. You want to see, especially with a reversal like this, like we were in a downtrend. You want to see a reversal. You want to see support off of moving averages and you want to see engulfing candles. Those engulfing candles mean that a bunch of people are buying. When a bunch of people are buying, that is causing momentum. You want to be a part of that momentum. So wait for the engulfing candle to print and be permanent, then get in on your position, keeping a stop loss nice and comfortable because it's crypto. But that's going to be your best entry. Just getting in willy nilly anytime you want is kind of reckless when it comes to crypto. You want the big fat momentum moves, okay? Um, da, 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 da. So let's get to some Forex pairs or my Forex pair that I like. Oh, that looks like a mess. Let's get rid of those. Yeah, I haven't traded Australian dollar, US dollar for a bit because it's literally been doing this. It's just in an area of consolidation. Like this is completely ranged. Watch this. Let me show you. So we try to draw our trend or our uh, support and resistance lines so that it touches as many of these uh what is going on here so that it touches as many of these peaks and valleys as possible we're literally range locked right here we had a little bit of a spike up but then easily came down. Like, I mean, if you want to trade the ranged market, you can. Because if you think about it, this is actually, you know, 100 pips. So you can buy here and sell here. But you have to think about all this noise in between and the fact that you're going to be stuck in a trade for days sometimes. <clears throat> My God, this looks gross. 
I wouldn't recommend anybody trade this. Um, right now we are having a very strong bearish candle and a fat ass wick. Let's see what that looks like on the five minute. Look at that. That is a one five minute candle or maybe it's shorter than that. Three minutes, huge slump down. Yeah, dude, don't don't trade Australian dollar, US dollar. It's bad. Um, as far as I can see here, like obviously, right? So if we break, if price breaks below this and retests it, it's gonna go down. But if it stays above this line, you're good for now to, you know, just do that. Like right there. Uh, 1 to 2.35, 54 pips with a 23 pip stop loss. But again, if it goes below that trend line, get the F out. <coughs> Woo. <clears throat> Sorry, I still got some phlegm from when I was sick. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to I'm going to just glance at the chat here. What is Matic? I feel like you're spamming the chat with Matic. So, Johnny Black, uh what you want to do <clears throat> is do all of your overall analysis on the one hour time frame. Obviously I see that we're, we're looking for long positions on the one hour time frame. Then I go lower to the 15 minute or the five minute or the one minute to find my specific entry point. That's when I'm looking for the engulfing candles, the really short moves. Um, yeah, Jesus, that coffee is hitting me like crazy. Um, yeah, do your analysis on a higher time frame. Whoa, I feel funny. Um, do your analysis on a higher time frame. Sorry, I just got a head rush. Technical difficulty. Hold on one second. Yo, I have no idea what's wrong with me. Like, my heart just started racing like crazy. And I got a head rush. Weird. Um, yeah. So, do your analysis on a higher time frame. And then go to a lower time frame to find your perfect entry point. Um, a few people were asking... Dzień dobry. 
Thanks, June. Uh, I like five minute jazzy. I like five minute for engulfing candles because if you look, like, let's find. Go back to the one hour. Um, let's look at this area right here on the five minute. Like, obviously, right here. Like, that would have been a nice entry point for me. You know, because we're we kind of have this downtrend forming right here, right? And then I see this engulfing candle, I'm in on a short position. Yeah, it came up and consolidated a little bit, but I know that that's a momentum shift. So five minute engulfing candles are gonna be your best bet because that would have been a really nice move. <clears throat> um, I'm glad that video helped you, Savian. Dude, seriously, like if you guys want that sniper entry, it's all about that that three line strike, that engulfing candleness. You know, you look for you look for a strong trend, and then as the price goes up and everyone's thinking that it's reversing, and then you get that big fat engulfing candle with a trend, like going with the trend. Just go for a short position or a long position. Like, you're good to go. Just watch that video on the three-line strike. Um, when calculating uh, lot sizes, so, I mean, let's, uh, let's remove that. So when calculating lot sizes... Um, you know, say say I'm looking at this this trade right here on Australian. Sorry, there's a train. Um, look, you have a 23 pip stop loss and a 54 pip take profit, right? And you want to risk one percent. So if you have a small account and you want to, you know, 0 0.10. So if it's a 0 0.10, like you have to think about how much you're willing to lose. So if you have a $100 account, you only want to lose 10 bucks. So if it's 23 pips, you know, you take 23 pips and uh, stick it into a calculator on Google because it's going to be faster than I could do it on this pen and paper. <laughs> but 23 pips and you only want to lose 10 bucks, dude, you're seriously just sticking to a... a because that would be one pip is one dollar. That would be a twenty-three. So you would do a point zero five lot size, and that would give you like a ten to twelve dollar stop loss, and then that would be your take profit, and it's you know two to two point three. So you're risking eleven dollars or twelve dollars, and your take profit's going to be twenty-five. So yeah, that's how you do it. You always you always look at your zones first and see what your stop loss has to be on that trade and then choose your lot size on it. Because if you just go for standard lot sizes and you're like, I only trade one lot, you better make sure you can do that drawdown if it does go against you for a little bit and make sure that you're keeping proper risk management. Like you should be only risking one or 2% per trade, period. Like that's just the smart way to do it. I know that I've made videos on fast growth and 30% risk and trying to, you know, grow a small account, but that's that's keeping in mind a small amount of risk. You're only risking $20. That's like two trips to Starbucks. So that's why I only recommend that really aggressive strategy with $20, not with a $10,000 account, because you can lose two grand in five minutes. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, da, 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 da. cool. So that's what I'm looking at for, uh, for Australian dollar, us dollar, this thing, watch this because this was a wick five seconds ago. 
We still got 11 minutes for this candle to close. I would stay out of this trade until we maintain upwards momentum on this trend line right here. Okay. Okay, pumpkin. Uh, German thir er, let's go US 30. Uh, da, 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 da. US 30 on a one hour time frame. We are looking at support and resistance levels. These I'm going to go a little bit more in depth because a lot of people want to trade indices. And right there. So currently just glancing at it. I try not to overthink my trades. I look at support and resistance levels. I see the direction, you know, I, I also see this ready. I don't know if you guys see this or not, but I see this. Draw that a little bit better. Trend line, support level, bouncing off of it. Just glancing at it that quickly, I'm looking for something like this. If you want to be safe, target that area. But that's what I'm looking for. So, yeah. Just quickly. But I'm scalping, so I'm only looking for a tiny little butt hair of that. Um, breaking this down with some moving averages, we are trending up above the 200. That was bouncing off the 50 and a trend line and a major level of support. Like, I think, yeah, I'm pretty confident in a long position right there. But let's break it down to the 15 minute chart. Now on 15 and fives is where I'm looking for divergences and stuff. So let's put the RSI up here. RSI is above 50 on the 15 minute, which is good for me. I like that. We're getting nice, big, bullish candles. We see these a few wicks down, which is nice to see because that means like it's like hunting for people's stop losses. Um, any divergences? Yeah, so check this out. On a 15 minute, at this point right here, see this low that we had off this trend line? At this point, the RSI was 35.73. This is a, just, I'm going to make it more clear for you guys. This was a 37 on the RSI. This right here, was a 28 on the RSI, meaning that the price is showing up, but the RSI was oversold in that area, more oversold than this area. This is what we call a hidden divergence. See how, sorry, another train. That's why I keep my window closed. So the price is showing upwards movement and the RSI has a dip down. That is a hidden divergence, meaning a trend continuation to the upside. So I feel very confident in a long position on US 30. From this point, keeping your stop loss on that trend line and targeting right now this previous high. So that is a 90 point move on US 30. Um, yeah, yeah. And then if you've hit your take profit with this and you want to continue the trade, what you can do is close at this point 90% of your trade. So if you are trading 
uh, a 0 0.10, I want you to close 0 0.09 of the trade and then let the other 0 0.01 go up to the previous level, which was 35,000. Close it at like 34,975. 34, that would be a nice take profit too. And that 0 0.01 will go a long way, especially with a US 30. Don't it don't trade a 0 0.10 unless you have a big ass account. That was a mistake on my part. Don't trade that big of a lot size on this. Trade a 0 0.01 if you have a small account. And I'm what I mean by small account is a thousand dollars or more. <clears throat> yeah, I guess my kung fu tea really just kicked me in the face. Must have just had like a, a spike in caffeine. I've, it's weird. I'm a dad, so I drink a lot of coffee to actually keep my eyes open. So that was surprising to me. I've never had, I just, I guess it was really, really strong freaking Kung Fu tea. So this is my markup on uh, US 30. If you want a 90 point scalp, that's, that's what you're, sh that's what you should be going for right now. And again, I am not a financial advisor. This is just years of technical analysis experience and uh, whatnot. So just keep in mind this trend line. If we break that trend line, just get out. Just absolutely get out. <clears throat> um. Yes, I can do gold. I hate gold, but I can do gold. Uh, let's look at a one hour time frame. Obviously bullish AF. Cool. So we're looking at levels, right? We're looking at levels. I'm just going to leave these two because I don't like to overthink gold. But what I am curious of is this, because when I see a double top, I need to look into it. So we are already forming a double top right now on the one hour time frame. What you need to do with a double top is check the RSI. So the RSI level right here and right here this one let's also put it in so the rsi at this point was what was his highest 75 right so 75 right here right here it was 69 and right now Sixty-eight. So if we're creating three tops right here, all at the same level, but the RSI is showing a clear downtrend. If you don't see that, if you don't see the fact that this RSI is going down versus all of these prices being pretty high, <clears throat> You need to watch the divergence video a lot. So right now, I would not be looking for a long position. If it does start to reject, I'm I'm against teaching you guys counter trend trading, but I will show you this. If you want to get in on a position on gold, you are going to be putting that position in right there, stop loss above, and you're going to target the 21 moving average. Keep in mind that if you set, you know, your trade like this and the price starts consolidating, that 21 moving average is going to go up. So it will be higher. So you may need to close it early or adjust or just monitor it. But that's, if it does come down, that's the first level that it's going to test. If it wants to reverse at this point, 
then it'll break through the 21, retest it, go down to the 50, and then go down to the 200, which I don't think it'll do because we're in a, such a strong uptrend. You're not looking for trend reversals when counter trend trading. You are looking for a pullback to the moving averages and then a trend continuation, always. So these are very, 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 very short term trades, extremely, extremely risky. Do not do it. If you don't, if you're a beginner or you don't know how to counter trend trade, it's risky, 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 risky. But that's what I'm seeing on gold. Uh, Goliathus Gaming. I did Bitcoin at the beginning of this live stream, so just click the little scroll wheel and just go to the beginning of the video. Uh, five minute for gold. Yeah. Like breaking through the 21, you know, if it keeps going, because that previous, that on the five minute, the 200 is the 21 on the one hour. Yeah, that's that's what I mean by multiple time frame analysis. You do your analysis on the one hour, and if you we start having a pullback and you want to see this go to the 200 on the five minute, it's the same as the 21 on the one hour. So make sure that all your time frames line up with your analysis. Like if one hour is screaming long, but then you know you go to five minute or 15 minute and it's screaming short. There's some sort of a mistake there, like or you don't want to get in on a position when two of the different time frames are screaming different things, okay? I like I think the biggest problem with beginners and people that keep losing money with trading is that they get on the charts and they want to place a trade. They're looking to place a trade right now. And so they're forcing a trade. They're they're convincing themselves that yeah, it's going to do this because I think so. Instead of waiting for the price to make a move, monitor it, and then take advantage of that move. You have to let the trade come to you and not force the trade. Yeah, all of you guys, like Jester, you obviously know him from the Discord group. He is an absolute machine when it comes to responding to everybody and like doing analysis and teaching market manipulation and how the market moves with the banks. Like you guys should just write thank you in the chat right now because the amount of effort and work that he puts in for this community is absolutely it's mind blowing. So if you guys have been helped by Jester or if he's responded to your comments, like you guys should be thoroughly grateful because he, he takes a lot of time and energy to do what he does. And I'm ridiculously grateful. I don't think the group would function as well as it does without him. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm looking at on gold. Um, it might have a small pullback and then a trend continuation. Uh, German 30. London Open is about to happen in two hours. So let's look at the uh, one hour time frame. Get rid of my moving averages and yeah. So this is just how I mark up my charts every single time I get on here, guys. You... Look for major levels of support and resistance. Not a vertical line, please. Horizontal. These are the zones that I'm going to be targeting. Cool. Mm -hmm. Some price is a little bit harder to analyze, especially when it's ranging. Like we're having these huge swings up and huge swings down, so it's hard to really find that trend. Plus, we're at massively all-time highs on a lot of shit across the board. So, <laughs> Dude, you guys are awesome. 401 views. This is insane to me. 
Uh, yeah, there's 401 viewers right now and 189 likes. So please try to change that. Just click the big thumbs up button. I, it makes me feel good about myself. Um, so I'm kind of seeing a little bit of a wedge. I know I haven't discussed wedges on the channel yet. But something like that. I would wait for this to do a thing and get out of this wedge. Um, if it comes up to this previous support or previous resistance and rejects down, I'm probably going to start targeting the uh, this next zone. So it, in my head, I'm waiting for setups like this. If it goes up and breaks that um, wedge, People are thinking that, oh, it's broken the wedge. It's going to shoot up. But I'm also keeping in mind this previous support level or resistance level. And if it rejects off of that, I would target a short position <clears throat> in this area right here. Maybe a little bit above just to be safe. Stop loss above there. And I would also monitor this very closely because if it breaks through the bottom of this range and then comes up to test it and then goes down, I'm good to go. But if it starts playing in the range again or in that wedge, then it's just, it's kind of a sloppy, ugly, I'm probably not going to trade German 30 today just because of that. I'll probably stick with US 30 and wait for those big momentum moves. <clears throat> um... Um, Robin, that is a good idea, but what I'd like to do is, uh, make a video separate on that because when back testing, when I did my back testing video on how to back test, I recorded that for an hour and a half and edited it down to a, like a 20 minute video. So back testing takes hours and hours and hours. So I don't want to do it on the live because it's just going to take way too much time. And I think it's going to be really boring. <clears throat> But yeah, this is what I'm looking for for uh, for German 30. Um, I'm looking for spikes out of this wedge to trap traders. You're, you should be looking for a trap right now. And then wait for that trap to play out and then go with the big momentum move. Like look at clear example of what I'm talking about with these traps. Okay, I'm always on the lookout for traps. This right here. breaking out this long wick a lot of these people that have gone short right here are trapped so if you have to think if you think about a trapped trader the market the banks the manipulators whatever you want to call them they like to keep traders trapped so if this person is still in a short position anybody that bought right here they want to keep them there until they can either get them a margin call or hit their stop loss. And so this would be a clear indication of the price probably won't come back here. So maybe my analysis right here is wrong. Maybe it might break down below this area again, create another wick scenario and then shoot up. So yeah, I take it back. I'm not targeting a short position there because of this. This one thing, this, this is trapped traders. And I know that they like to make trapped traders suffer badly. So I would probably be looking more for a long position here because we are even in an upwards bias, you know? Like, yeah, we came down, but we're still, price is still going up. Uh-huh. But, I mean, if you want to scalp, you can even scalp, you know. Say you think it's going to do that little move or whatever. You can still scalp that. You can, uh, why won't, there we go. You know, that's still a 45-point move on German 30, which is pretty tasty, actually. But, again, 
do your analysis here and then go down to your five minute or your 15 minute to find your entry. Mm -hmm. uh, I just did gold. So if you want to just rewind the live stream a little bit. USD CAD. Okay, I'm going to start doing what you guys want to see. So let's start off with USD CAD. <clears throat> also, holy, wait, keep in mind, it is the beginning of the month. Beginning of the month is time for uh, people to get screwed over. So be very, very careful in this first, in this week. Okay, especially Friday. Um, USD CAD on a one hour. We are ranged here. Here. Um, in a downtrend. Watch for this zone right here. Watch this zone. If you get a big fat green candle that goes up like you did right here, you're looking to target this area. If it breaks below, wait for the retest and a rejection, then go short. But this is the only zone that you should be trading between this price right here. <clears throat> uh, Robin, can you go over how to keep an eye out for scalping setups without having to look at the chart all day? Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. So in the morning, you wake up. And you do your analysis like I did here, right? Let's say uh, US 30. I did all my analysis here, right? And so um, I'm, I'm looking for, for this. So what I would do, so I don't have to keep an eye on this because I know it's pre-open. What I would do is take my cursor and if we get down here below this trend line, even on this, this support line that I drew, you right click it sorry, <laughs> it works on my phone. Um, you take your cursor right here and you see all the way at the end here where the price is, there's a little plus button. Click the plus button and add an alert for US 30 when it gets to that level. And then what you wanna do right here is create another alert on the upside. So get your price, like if it starts going up a little bit from where you are right now, add another alert. And that way you have two alerts. So you're not getting in yet because you haven't seen you know, your setup or whatever, if you haven't seen your setup yet. And you think that it's going to spike up or down between here and that's going to make your decision on whether you should go long or short based on your analysis. So you set these two zones and you go have breakfast or brunch with your friends and then you have notifications turned on on your phone. And if you have trading view on your phone and on here, it should be the exact same because you're logged into the same account. So you should see a basic idea of, you know, what you get on your phone. And then it hits your price and you're looking for an entry. If you've gotten an engulfing candle as it hit your um, your alert, get in on a trade. Open up MT4, place your position. Like you have everything planned in advance. You're just waiting for the notification to come out. So that's what I was talking about, Robin. Seriously, you can only have one alert on the free... Oh, that sucks. 
So yeah, you have to be a lot more confident. Like I think I'm going long here. So what I would do is whew, one alert. That's dude, paid trading view is worth it, guys. If you do the um if you sign up with a new account, not if you already have an existing account. Sign up with a new account and then try the premium version for 30 days or whatever. Once that trial period is over, they're like, hey, here's a 60% discount. So instead of paying $800 for the maximum holy crap package, you're only paying like $600 or five less, way less. So that's what I did. So I used, <laughs> I think I tried three different emails. And so, yeah, I got the discounted one and I have that discount for a year. Trading view premium with more indicators, live replay mode for back testing it is if you're if you're serious about day trading you need to get the premium it's going to it's going to hinder you if you don't have it because you need to back test your strategy and the only way to back test is with replay mode and that's not that's not there yeah trading view premium is totally worth it <clears throat> Um, okay. I have an opinion on Heiken Ashi candles and my opinion on Heiken Ashi candles is they suck unless you are swing trading. What do I mean? If you are one of those people, unlike me, who can buy here and hold it for how long is that and hold a trade for 13 days Heiken Ashi candles are probably a good bet for you because it Heiken Ashi candles smooth out the noise let me show you see how it's like very it's a lot more consistent and less noisy. There's less wicks. But if you're scalping, Heiken and Ashy candles are not good because they don't give you an accurate representation of the high and the low. Like, they just... Look at these candles. They overlap. These candles are... So, using theory on previous candles, you know, this is your open. This is your close. So the next candle open should be here and it's like in the middle. So this, it keeps it smoothed. So you stay in a trade for longer because that's what it's doing. It's trending. So you would stay in that trade, but man, if you're scalping, this is the worst thing ever. But if you're position holding and you watch these rejections and you get in on a short and you just hold it until you see this big fat wick, like, yeah, Heiken Ashi is good for long-term trades. Okay. Okay, pumpkin. Uh, Noah, I completely agree. Everyone does have their own. That's why I teach multiple different strategies. You know, you can hold trades for a long time or you can scalp like me. You can only trade the 15 minute and the one hour or you can trade the five minute and the one minute. When you watch one of my strategy videos and you're like, man, that sounds good. That's, that's the strategy that matches your personality. Maybe you should try that. Or if you're more conservative and you want to, you know, hold a trade for a longer period of time, make a smaller lot size and try to get, you know, 150 pip move in a week. Awesome. You know, go for it. I can't do it. I, I can't go to sleep with an open trade. That's just my personality type. Even though I've done all my analysis, I literally can't do it. I want to be in and out of a trade quickly. But everybody's going to have their own tendencies and their own styles. And that's why I try to show you a bunch of different things that you can do so that, yeah. Yeah, simple as that. Um... My opinion on the lazy bear squeeze indicator. I've never heard of it, but it's a funny name. I'll probably check it out. 
Yeah, so. I'm going to show you. Uh, the question is regular and hidden divergences. So I'm going to draw this out for you. Price is going up, right? We're going to make this green. Price is going up. And RSI, so that's, that's price. These are candlesticks, right? And RSI, let me get this up a little bit here. And RSI is also going up. Right? So you're looking at these two zones right here. This and this. These, this is a higher low, right? We had a low and we have a higher low. And then this would be your corresponding RSI. I'm really trying to explain this without making it too complicated. So the price is making higher lows, correct? Which means we're in an uptrend. But the RSI had created a lower low. What that means is this right here, the difference between these two points is a hidden divergence. I know they're not lined up perfectly, but that's because I'm drawing. So the price is making a higher low, but the RSI made a lower low, meaning that if this area was an area of it being oversold and going back up, this area is even more oversold and it goes back up. So this is a hidden divergence, a hidden bullish divergence, meaning that the price is going to go up because it's more oversold than it was here. Whereas, and that works for a short position too, just flip it and make it red. Whereas, um, let me remove all these lines. A regular divergence is going to look something like this. So <clears throat> price is going up, right? We have higher highs. This area and this area. A regular divergence, the RSI, so this is price. Now I'm going to draw the RSI. Is doing this. So we had a high point right here and we're making a lower high on the RSI. Right? That lower. So even though market and price action is showing a bull you know, a bullish uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, nice market structure, although the RSI may show a lower low or a lower high, meaning that it's going to go down. This is a bearish divergence. So that's why I love the RSI so much is because it's a clear indication of what the price is going to do versus looking at price action and structure. So price action and structure is the the imagine a magician you know he wants you to look here but he's doing something here right so price action is doing this creating higher highs and higher lows beautiful structure but rsi is like getting lower every single time and then it tanks i'm going to show you exactly what i mean with ethereum and get rid of these in hike and ashi candles Okay, on a one hour time frame, Ethereum, okay, this was its uh, all time high right here, this 40, 4300 or whatever, right? The whole time, price is going up. The whole time. So we're looking at this high, this high, 
and this high. I'm not even looking at the RSI right now, but I can tell you 100% every one of these higher highs was a lower high on the RSI. I'm not even looking at it, and I, kn I know it. 100%. Let me just, let me draw, hold on. Let me draw three, fuck. Vertical lines, already vertical lines. Boom, boom, and boom, right? These are your three higher highs. Market structure is saying that it's bullish, you know, it's an uptrend. So now let's look at the RSI only, right? High, lower high, lower high. That is a clear and concise divergence, meaning the price is going to go down. This is the magician showing you what he wants to show you. And this is the what's actually happening behind the scenes. This is why divergences are so strong. I want to say that 95% of my trades are based on a divergence. I am looking for a divergence for my entry, and I'm looking at a, for a divergence for my exit. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> like if if you use this divergence as your entry, right? And you shorted it and you waited for a divergence for your exit, you could have rode this trade all the way down to here. Because right here, we had our low point and we had a lower low. But here, we have our low and a higher low. That's your exit point which is literally the market bottom. And ever since that point, it's been going up. This is the power of divergences. Don't let the magician trick you. Look at what the RSI is doing. If you just use that one thing, if you take away anything from my channel and all of my videos, I want you to really, 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 truly understand the power of the RSI. It is, in my opinion, the greatest indicator you could ever have on your chart. <clears throat> so, um, you guys are awesome. Um, where exactly do you enter with an I? You wait for a divergence and an engulfing candle. Um, I think I'm going to call it on this. Um, I gave you guys a lot of things to trade. Bitcoin, Ethereum, US 30, German 30, Australian dollar, US dollar, which I probably wouldn't touch. Uh, USD CAD, gold. So, yeah. Um, sorry if I didn't answer your question in the chat. There's literally eight gajillion chats here. And um, I just, yeah, I was <laughs> doing the analysis, so I didn't really check on here. Um, I appreciate you guys showing up. Um, watch the videos. If you're a beginner, please watch the beginner playlist. If you need a trading community and you feel alone in your trading journey, join our Discord group. There are thousands of people in there all in the same situation that you are. And that's the reason I created the group is so that you guys can have, and me, myself, can have a place to go and get a second opinion or make some friends. Because sitting, like, imagine if I didn't have this camera and I didn't have a community. I would just be sitting here by myself staring at charts. And with the community... You can ask questions. You can take a screenshot of what you're looking at and say, hey, guys, what do you think of this? Are you seeing the same thing or am I not seeing it right? That's that's the point of the community. Um, yeah. That's it. So good luck this week in your trading. Uh, do not... 
do be very careful this week because it is the first of the month. The first week of the month usually has a lot of manipulation and spikes trapping traders for the rest of the month. So today is the first of the month. Be careful. Friday is going to be uh, NFP, which is one of those days where you can see any Forex pair spike 80 to 100 pips in one one minute candle. So if you're trading this week, please, please do not place a trade unless you have a stop loss. If you are trading without stop losses this week and you get burned, it's your fault. It's nobody else's fault but yours. So please always trade with a stop loss. You know, try to maintain a one to two risk reward ratio. Only risk 1% per trade. That's just how you want to do it. That's going to be your good, solid foundation of trading. And if you want to look at different strategies, check out the videos on the channel. See what works best for you. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys showing up for the live. Sorry, I'm a little bit off today. I think that caffeine spike really messed with me, threw me off my game. Um, yes, I trade full time. I'm also a full time YouTuber and a full time dad. I'm very good at hustling. <laughs> I've been hustling since I was 15 years old, 14 years old. My first job was at Taco Bell. Actually, my first job was the hotel, but that's just slave labor. My first actual job working for somebody else was Taco Bell. Mason, thank you. I, I appreciate the tips, guys. Uh, Market Cipher. Um, I have not looked at Market Cipher, but I will write it down on my pen and paper. And I will get back to you in the Discord group. Um... Yeah, all of my live streams, once YouTube finishes processing them, like once I hit the end stream button, it takes like an hour sometimes, but the replay will always be on the channel forever. So you guys can even check previous live streams. They are quite long, so I'll grab some popcorn. Um, Paula Jones, Las Vegas. That's that's where I uh, spent a, a lot of my life. Um, yeah, guys, be very... I really... I can't emphasize this enough. Be very, very careful this week. Uh, been doing okay and profitable on the five minutes. Can you convince me of higher time frame? I'm right on the fence. Uh, I trade one minute and five minute, sometimes 15 minute if it's, you know, a bigger move, but I like scalping on the one minute and five minute, but I do all of my analysis working from the one hour to the 15 to the five to the one. Um, yeah. Thanks for the $5 and 44 cents that I've made from the uh, super chats. That is definitely going to help me purchase this bike. Um, I don't know if there's any way to do an alert for a divergence. I kind of want to look into these divergence indicators that like print it for you because a lot of people have trouble seeing them. I just see them because I've been studying them for so long. Um, but that would be cool if there was an indicator for divergences and then it would just shoot you a text and say, hey, there was a divergence on the one hour time frame on US 30. And then you open up and you place your trade. That would be fantastic. Um, Yeah, so my people ask if this works for crypto or futures or options or whatever. Yeah, like the analysis is, is, is the same. You're looking for a direction of the price. You're just looking for your best entry here. That's why I go down to smaller time frames. <laughs> That's okay, Samurai FX. <laughs> you... Like I have in the Discord group, there's donations. There's a donations tab and it has all the crypto 
addresses as well as PayPal. Like that's just there to help me build the channel. Like it, this channel is going to start costing me a lot of money because I'm going to start making it in different languages and I need, you know, subtitles and voiceovers. And so I'm going to be funneling a lot of money into the channel. So, I mean, this isn't really like my main source of income. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's my project. It's my, my, I don't know, my passion to help people get out of shit situations. I really need to stop swearing. YouTube's not going to like me. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end it there. Um, what if you guys missed the beginning of this, just watch the replay. It should be up pretty shortly. And good luck in London Open. If you, it's nighttime for you, uh, good night. And uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's still, it blows my mind that there's 19,000 subscribers on this channel. Seriously crazy to me. So I, I appreciate you guys thoroughly. And uh, I'll be on the chat later today. Probably an off topic because I like chatting about bikes, not Forex. But yeah, join the Discord group. Um, if you guys are wondering about funded account, the video that I did yesterday, just watch the video and get in the group and start discussing it there. It's not right for everybody. Really, I advise against using it if you're a beginner or if you're not profitable on demo. So it's just a way to throw away your money. So don't do it. Um, yeah. Bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the support and thanks for being a part of my uh, my crew, my gang my community, my tribe. I feel like a hippie when I say that. All right.